Hi guys, it's Miss Devro. Time to get another center completed. On this center, what I'm going to do is I am going to read you a story. Frog and Toad all year. Um, we're just going to read one chapter from this story. And we're going to read the one about ice cream. Mm. All right. One hot summer day, Frog and Toad sat by the pond. I wish I had some sweet, cold ice cream, said Frog. What a good idea, said Toad. Wait right here, Frog. I'll be back soon. Toad went to the store. He bought two big ice cream cones. Toad licked one of the cones. Frog likes chocolate the best, said Toad, and so do I. Toad walked along the path. A large, soft drop of chocolate ice cream slipped down his arm. This ice cream is melting from the sun, said Toad. Toad walked faster. Many drops of melting ice cream flew through the air. They fell down on Toad's head. I must hurry back to, to, to Frog, he cried. Oh no, poor Toad is trying to get back to Frog who was waiting for him with the chocolate ice cream and it was melting on his head. Oh man. More and more of the ice cream was melting. What was making that ice cream melt? You got it, the sun. It dripped down on Toad's jacket. It splattered on his pants and on his feet. Where is the path, cried Toad. I cannot see. Oh no. Who's underneath all that ice cream? Toad is underneath all that ice cream. What kind of ice cream is it? You got it, it's chocolate ice cream. Oh man, and who's he trying to bring it back to? He's trying to bring it back to Frog. Frog sat by the pond waiting for Toad. A mouse ran by. I just saw something awful, cried the mouse. It was big and it was brown. Something covered with sticks and leaves is moving this way, cried Squirrel. Here comes a thing with horns, shouted the rabbit. Run for your life. What could it be, said Frog. Man, I wonder who it is. Who do you think it might be? I think you might be right. I think it might be Toad. Let's see. Frog hid behind a rock. He saw the thing coming. It was big and brown. It was covered with sticks and leaves. It had two horns. Who do you think those horns are? You're right. They're the ice cream cones. Frog, cried the thing. Where are you? Good heaven, said Frog. That thing is... Toad. Toad fell into the pond. He sank to the bottom and came up again. Drat, said Toad. All of our sweet, cold ice cream has washed away. Never mind that, said Frog. I know what we can do. Frog and Toad quickly ran back to the store. They then sat in the shade under a large tree and ate their ice cream cones. What kind of ice cream cones? their chocolate ice cream cones together. Yeah, that was a great story. Yeah, because if they were hiding under the tree, what was per what was being protected from them? The sun. The sun wouldn't be able to melt on them if they the sun wouldn't be able to uh be beaming down on them if they were underneath that tree so that they would be a little protected under there, a little shade so their ice cream didn't melt. So what I want you to do today is I want you to draw me a picture of you eating your favorite ice cream cone, your favorite kind of ice cream. So a picture of you eating your favorite kind of ice cream. And I want you to write, I like, and mommy or daddy can help you. I like chocolate. I like strawberry. I like vanilla. I like cookie dough. Whatever it is that you like. So I want to see a nice, what do I always say? Detailed picture. A nice detailed picture of you, your ice cream cone. And I want you to write what kind of ice cream that you like. Okay? So that is your center for today. That's an easy one. I'm trying to help you guys out with a nice easy one today. So a lot of detail in your picture though. All right? Good job, guys. See you later.